FDIC looks ahead for YSD, it's back to the drawing board. Voters said no to a 10% tax increase to pay for the district's nearly half a billion dollar bond proposal. It would have paid for a new $94 million Eastwood High School, and it would have fixed and consolidated other aging schools district wide. It was a close one, though, with 51% of voters saying no and 49% saying yes. You might be surprised by which taxpayers voted against the Isleta bond. Tonight, reporter Maria Garcia has a breakdown of the numbers, and you'll see this perspective only on ABC7. Maria? Hi, Rick. The Isleta Teachers Association says they focused on voters whose areas would get less money from the bond. And little did they expect that the area that benefit the most from the bond tipped the scales against it. It was just a surprise. We thought we could pass it just with Eastwood. You know, Eastwood's votes. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, we lost because of Eastwood. The president of the Isleta Teachers Association says she couldn't believe her eyes when she saw that map. Blue shows areas that supported the bond. Green is precincts who voted against it. Voters in the lower valley supported the bond. But residents above the freeway, whose schools would have gotten more money, and a new Eastwood High School from the bond, voted against it. We got our teachers at the, in the Riverside area and told them, you know, you really need to get out and really talk to people and try to get them to look at the benefits of the bond. And sure enough, it's, it, worked. It's, it, it worked. worked in that area. Yeah, but we never thought we'd ha we needed to put an emphasis on Eastwood. We I, that just never even dawned on me. They probably thought they couldn't take the taxes, mm -hmm. and you know they had but the firemen's, you know, that tax going up, uh, reevaluation of homes right now. They were thinking, you know, maybe we just can't afford it right now. In all due respect, I think that if we were to try again, we'd definitely have a, I mean, we'd know where we'd have to go. Just to give you an idea of the difference in bond money and votes, Eastwood would have got a $94 million in bond, Isleta about $39 million. Back to you. Oh, Maria, thank you very much for that fresh perspective on Saturday's election results. Also tonight, ABC7 listening to a viewer's